So I finished a show, and a little boy came up to me. I, 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 I had a spooky thing happen to me. You did? It was my birthday party. Yeah. Go on. It was my birthday party. You already said that. Keep going. I had over my two friends. Who are your two friends? Uh, Reggie and Fat Boy. Okay, you had your friends over. What happened? We had pizza, and we had presents, and, and we had a birthday cake, and then, well, we was watching TV. And my mom came in, she said, what are you doing watching TV? Just watching TV. You can't watch TV on your birthday. Why not? What's wrong with watching TV? Because it's your birthday. Well, what do you want us to do? Do something special. Like what? Go outside and play hide and go seek. How do you do that? It's nighttime. Perfect. Little boy told me that the mom took him outside. There was a truck in the carport. She turned on the light in the carport. The top of the car would be safe. Home base. They drew straws. Fat boy was it, and the others went to hide. Fat boy wasn't happy. Oh, I gotta be it. <laughs> I don't like it. One, two, ten, twenty-five, ninety-nine, hundred. I don't see nobody. Me. I went into the yard, and there was the T for the clothesline. Walks over, and I got behind the clothesline, and I had on my black shirt, so I knew that I would be invisible. Invisible? Invincible. Invincible? Invincible. He couldn't see me. So I was behind the T, and I could see Fat Boy, and along the clothesline, there was a glove, my mom's glove. She wear them when she goes and does a yard work, so she doesn't mess up her hands. And Fat Boy was coming. Oh! I don't see nobody. This isn't as fun, you know. And I was waiting for Fat Boy to go by so that I could go run and be, get to the safe and be free. And that's when I saw it because Fat Boy was coming. And then the glove started jumping around all by itself. The glove, gloves are not supposed to jump around by themselves, but the glove was jumping around. The glove was jumping around. I would have run, but that boy was, hello, hello, you guys. Oh, this isn't fun. Come on out. The glove was jumping my heart. Boom, 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 my eyes. The glove was jumping around, and then the glove fall. And then the gloves start moving along the ground. I'm watching the glove. The glove hits my, my shoe. I'm like, kick, 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 kick. The glove starts to move up, moving up. The glove is clawing up my leg. I cannot handle. I hit the glove. Ah! The glove go up in the sky, but my scream go through the air and go inside the ears. The fat boy. Fat boy hear the scream and go, bah, bah, bah. his scream go through the air, hit me. Bah! My scream go through the air. Bah, 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 bah. Meanwhile, the glove fall on the ground. Me, I run for the for the car. Safe! Fat boy come behind. <gasps> oh, why are you screaming? You almost scared me to death. You know what? I tell you true. When I went and hit the glove and the glove go up and we screaming, I saw a little string. When I hit the ground, I saw a furry ball and the glove go on top. <laughs> That's when I know. It was a mouse. <laughs> the mouse go on the line, fall inside the glove. It cannot see, so it wiggling around. Then it fall on the ground, and the glove fall on top. Just a mouse. But it was spooky, man. Rest of it, not so scary, but that was spooky. Hmm. Good story. I think I'll tell other people. Every.